guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first favorites video of 2019. Oh, it's so weird to say 2019. Although I feel like I jumped the gun at the end of 2018 and was saying 2019 even when it wasn't fun. Anyways, whatever. Okay, so first favorites video of the year. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the products that I loved in January. There's not a whole ton, but there's enough to get excited about. So let's hop into it. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be the year of lip gloss for me because I have been obsessed with lip gloss lately. Like, more obsessed than I am with liquid lipsticks or regular lipsticks. Although today I'm wearing the um, Lancome Juicy Shaker on my lips and I actually really like it. It's in... Uh, okay, let me get it. So I didn't want to put this in my favorites because I literally am wearing it for the first time today, but I like it a lot. It's the Lancome Matte Shaker in the color Orange Arty. It says orange, but it's, it's not really that orange. It's more of like a pink, but that's what's on my lips today. Love it. It's not drying or anything like that. It's more of a lip gloss. Well, it's like a water when you put it on your lips. But yeah, lip gloss I've been obsessed with this month. So I have three to tell you about that I've been going back to over and over and over again. So the first one is the Too Faced um, Diamond Gloss. I think that's what these are called. The High Shine Sparkle Lip Gloss. This is part of their Pretty Rich Collection. First of all, the packaging is to die for you guys. It's so pretty, like it just looks, I don't know, I just love it. So this one is in the color Social Butterfly, I believe, yeah. Social Butterfly, however, I've been wearing almost all of them on and off. So I'm gonna pull my sleeves up so I can swatch these for you. So here is what it looks like. These are very, very glittery. There's like actual sparkle glitter in them. But it's not uncomfortable. You know how some glitter, like, you can feel? You can't really feel this on your lips, but you can see it. You know, it's part of a diamond collection, so it makes sense. But, yeah, these are nice. They're not sticky. They're comfortable on the lips. They have a vanilla scent to them, maybe. Very, very light, though. But, yeah, I've been loving that one. I also have gone back to a tried-and-true oldie but goodie. This is my, like, one of my old-time favorites. It's the Buxom lip polish, I believe, in the color White Russian. I don't know what made me go back to this, but I'm loving it, you guys. It's really hard to see in a swatch because it's very, very light. You can see right there, it's basically just like a very pale, translucent pink color. Now this one has a vanilla mint scent to it. However, mine's kind of old, so it's like very faint. I probably should get a new one soon. But yeah, what I like about this is because it has that mintiness to it, it kind of like just invigorates your lips and makes you feel like they're being plumped. I think it's supposed to be a plumping lip gloss. Full on lip cream. I don't know. I think the intent is that it's supposed to be plumping. I wouldn't say that it's plumping, but it feels nice on the lips and it just adds a little bit of color without you feeling like you're wearing a ton of product on your lips. You know what I mean? So love that one. I've actually recommended this to a ton of people, coworkers, and they really, really like it. I feel like my hair is feeling very flat right now. Anyways, <laughs> okay, and then the last lip gloss I'm going to tell you guys about is actually by Avon. So I got some Avon products this past month, and I haven't tried Avon products in a very long time. I remember as a teenager, I really liked their Mark line, which I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. But this is by Avon, and it is the complete opposite of this one here. So I was saying this one is very light, very translucent. This is a very, very pigmented gloss. This is their... It just says Avon True Color, and it's in the color Lip Glow, or the style Lip Glow. Um, the color is, um, oh, is that it? Eclair, maybe? I'll find it, and I'll link it down below for you guys. But this one is super pigmented to the point where it kind of stains your lips. But I really like that because then as it wears off throughout the day, you still have pigment on your lips and you still feel like there's something on your lips even after the gloss has worn away. So here's what it looks like. The color is really bright, but I feel like sometimes adding a pop of color in the middle of these winter months where it's so dreary is a really good idea. So all three of these are comfortable on the lips. They're not sticky. Your hair's not gonna get stuck in them and they just feel nice on the lips. Like I like wearing all of these. So definitely favorites this month. I have another oldie but goodie that I kind of rediscovered from my collection. So I finished up my Too Faced Banana Setting Powder for my under eyes. So I pulled out something else that I've kind of loved and then put back and then loved more and then put back. But this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Pressed Light Reflecting Setting Powder. 
So it's kind of dirty, like you can see. Oh, it's just me that uses it, so I feel less weird about that. So don't mind the dirtiness. It's supposed to be white. But what I like to use this for is to set my under eyes, and I feel like it's so soft and so, so, so finely milled that it just... It doesn't look cakey at all when you set your under eyes with it. It just puts like the slight dusting of powder. It's not going to leave your under eyes white looking or anything like that. You're not going to get any weird flashback or anything like that with it. But it just like smooths out your under eyes, sets your concealer so it's not going to crease. You can also use this all over your face. I've done that before too. It smooths out your pores and it just... Uh, I forget how much I like this until I use it again. So I've been using that again. I've been loving that again. It's definitely been something that I, like, am glad I rediscovered. You know what I mean? I have two eye products to tell you guys about. So the first one I'm actually wearing all over my lid today. This is the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat. You'll see, I mean, when you look at it, I have used this thing to death, you guys. I don't, I've used it so much. There's, like, a huge dent in it. It's, like, all messy and all of that. So basically, this is supposed to be a top coat for your eyeshadows, but I've been using it as an all over lid color and I feel like it's pigmented enough to kind of get away with doing that. Okay, that's a horrible swatch. Let me try that again. I put that in the most like inconvenient place. So here's what it looks like. I don't think I told you the color. It's called Nude. Yeah, Nude is the color. So here's what it looks like. It's just the prettiest, like lightest dusting of color. And I don't have a makeup wipe near me, so I'll use my pants. Um, but yeah, you can kind of put it on a little bit more sheer and it looks more glossy. Or you can kind of build it up and there's a little bit more color like I'm doing today on my lids. And I just love the way this looks. It's enough sparkle to where you feel like you, you have sparkle on your lids. But it's not glittery. It's not like too overdone. You can wear it in the day. And you're not going to feel like you're, you know, have too much makeup on or anything like that. It just, it feels and looks really nice for everyday wear. I wear it to the office all the time. I work to work all the time. Today's the weekend, we're running errands. I'm wearing it today. And I don't feel overdone or anything like that. So yeah, I've been loving this. I have another one in the color bronze, I believe, that I haven't tried yet. So I'm gonna have to bust it out and try it since I like this one so much. And then the second eye product is a quad by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the color Pillow Talk. I actually purchased this off of the Charlotte Tilbury website and it was like, so originally it launched in like maybe November and it sold out and I was so sad that it sold out because I was like, I had it in my cart and I was like, no, I'll wait a couple days and then it sold out and it was supposed to be limited edition, never coming back. And I was so bummed. And then she relaunched it in December. So that's when I picked it up. And then I thought that was going to be it, that it was limited edition, but now it's available on Norsham's website. So I don't know. They like to trick you with that limited edition talk. Don't believe it. <laughs> I don't think any company truly has limited edition stuff. Maybe Mac. But anyways, I fell into the hype, but I've been loving it, you guys. And it's actually nice that it's available because I feel comfortable talking to you guys about it now. Whereas before, I would be like, oh, this blush, this, well, there's a blush version of it too, but this eye quad is amazing, but you can't get it. But now you actually can get it. It's on the Nordstrom website, so I'll link it down below for you. Um... But here's what it looks like. So basically it's a spin or a play off of their Pillow Talk lipstick. They basically expanded that line and now they have a blush and an eye quad. I talked about the blush in my December favorites and now I'm talking to you guys about the eye quad. It is so pretty. So it has two shimmers and two mattes. The shimmers are so pretty. Like if there's ever a day where I don't want to pull out like a separate product like this top coat, I will just kind of grab this and that shimmer, can you see it? It's just like a rose gold, beautiful color. Um, this one is a little bit less shimmery. It's more of like a highlight color, but you can use it to either pop in the center of your lid, highlight your brow bone, highlight your inner corner. Um, so that one's really pretty, but what really I think is the star of the show are these mattes right here. I feel like they are just so good. There's something about like a dusty movie pink that gets me every single time. I love Dusty Movie Pink mattes. I don't know what it is. I just, <laughs> I love them. So there's the swatch. I've been using that kind of in my crease a lot. And then, do I have a clean finger? This brown color is like a warm brown with like almost like a pinky undertone. 
and the mats are just so good they swatch really nicely so there's the quad right there I feel like it's beautiful for like a natural um kind of like everyday blushy flirty romantic eye like perfect for a valentine's day look you're not going to get a super smoky eye out of it but you are going to get like a really pretty just like i don't know i just love it i just love it so much i love it and it's small so it fits in my like everyday makeup drawer you can throw it in your purse and it's a star it really really is okay last thing i want to tell you guys about is a skincare product so this is by the brand tracy Martin, I think is how you say it, M-A-R-T-Y-N, Tracy Martin, and this is a clarifying toner. So the reason why this appealed to me, um, so I did get this off of Octoly, so Octoly sent this to me for review purposes, but the reason why it appealed to me is because it's targeted for like acne control, and salicylic acid has been drying my skin out lately. <laughs> I think my skin has just been dry lately in general, it's the winter time. I've actually had like flaky like dandruff, like my scalp is dry, just like everything is dry. The winter is killing my skin this year. And so I've been trying to stay away from salicylic acid because it just dries my skin out even more. So the appeal of this is there is no salicylic acid in it, but it's supposed to help with things like acne. But on top of that, it's supposed to be like a brightening toner as well. I don't know. I'm not super convinced on toners as being part of my skincare process. Um, I use them on and off and most of the time I don't use a toner, but the fact that it's kind of helping with things like acne or it's supposed to help with things like acne makes it more appealing to me if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, I'm not totally sold on the whole toner thing, but this has been a really good one. So this one has, um, what are the active ingredients in it? White tea and olive leaf. So basically what I'll do, yeah, it says clarifying and brightening clarifying and brightening essence so yeah that makes sense that's what I've noticed it does so what I'll do is um, I'll pump it on like a cotton pad or a cotton round and after my face wash but before serum and before moisturizer is kind of when I use it I'll just rub it all over my face and it does seem to be helping with some of the acne I don't get acne too crazy luckily um, knock on wood I'm very fortunate in that aspect I don't get a lot of acne but when I do I want to use something to help take care of it so usually I'll use things like tea tree oil um, or face wash with salicylic acid in it but I already said that's drying me out so yeah this has been helping with that and it hasn't been drying out my skin at all and I really like the way it smells it has like a a fresh non herbally smell to it and I feel like herbally smells are just like usually when you have a product like this it smells herbally I don't know am I wrong there whatever but yeah it just smells really nice it doesn't have an alcohol base to it so it's not going to dry out your skin it just leaves my skin feeling really nice and I really really like it so I wanted to tell you guys about that okay guys well those are the products that I loved in the month of January I told you not a ton but enough, <laughs> enough to make a favorites video on. So let me know in the comment section down below what products you loved in the month of January so that I can check them out if I haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.